No intro, welcome. no intro. No, welcome, yeah. Welcome. welcome. It's too, too much in a Canadian. No, it isn't. Yeah. Live from Bloomfield High School. <laughs> yeah. Inside room 253. And we have a guest. Wait, no. Yes, Mr. N. Yeah, this is a good problem. 364. 364. Live from 364. It's 2 one here. It's 2 Uh-huh. It's, anyway, we have a guest. We, we don't need to introduce ourselves. They know us. What, what is? What, who are you? Um, so hi, my name is Mr. Malcolm Loy. I'm an English teacher at Bloomfield High. W- wonderful introduction. There we are. All right. That was quick. That was quick. Where do we start? Uh, so you were, you were going you were ranting about koalas earlier. Let's let's have a little more about, about <laughs> it's that. Funny. Why we're going to koalas. Laughing? Okay. Um, so yeah. So one of my students was making a point about how like. Koalas are just useless existences, saying that they took hundreds of years after, like, just dying of being dumb and finally evolved to, like, digest the eucalyptus leaf, which essentially the eucalyptus leaf to most animal species is poisonous, but over the years, koalas adapted to be able to digest it. Because they kept eating it because they were stupid. Correct. And eventually, now they're able to digest it, but since it's such a task on their bodies and metabolism to digest it they obviously use too much energy and so because of that they need to sleep most of the day so most koalas are only awake in a 24-hour period between like 30 minutes to an hour they are in so like they are kind of they really kind of. they're just they're like the worst animal to look at in the zoo because they're just sleeping all the time yeah. would that go for sloths as well no because sloths are visually sloths are different Sloths are different. Interesting to look sloths at. They are, are different. Also, they're curved. They're also, they're also evolutionary failures because a sloth true. will literally starve to death with food right in front of it. Yeah. Because it's too lazy to go get it. You know what else is another evolutionary failure that a lot of people don't recognize? What's an epic Cheetah. Cheetos? Cheetos. Oh, cheetos. oh, cheetos are weird. Cheetos are cheetos So cheetos are, are they're, they're so the built for thing. speed. Uh, yeah. yeah, so cheetos are so built for speed that they actually lack, to a large degree, killing power. Because their body is so lightweight and their bones are so, like, not dense and hollow to give them speed that, like, when they finally, like, get to their prey, more than half the time they can't actually, like, get to kill. Their bite force is, like, is about low. the same of a normal house cat. They can't, yeah, they can't climb bad. trees like mm-hmm. other big cats. Their claws are... They just use momentum to carry them. They don't, they, they don't even, sure. like, roar. They make weird, like, chirping noises. You, like birds. Yeah. yeah, what is that? It's what? always him. Also like, it's always the Canadian. I announce it. Uh, it's no. you. I don't do it. I don't do it. Okay, My body's not allowed to do it. next time I... You fart? Just say it. We, we have a methane oh, bomber. Oh, we're not allowed to say curse words? That's fart's not a curse word. Can I say a curse word? <laughs> say a curse word. No, no, no. Why? You gotta keep it PG-13. It's our podcast. He, True, it is. No, but, but PG-13. PG-13 movies, they allow one F-bomb per Yeah, we have one F-bomb. And if we say it, it, say it if I just we, don't want to hear it. If we say it all at the same time, it's one F-bomb. Yes. No. No. Then it'll be super loud. Okay. You no, like but, 14 decibels. No, that's like a, that's like a bomb. But why do you want to say the F-word so bad? Our studio audience getting involved here. The uh, pickle man that we don't know. He's 27, Aww. apparently. Okay. Uh, anyway, Adrian tell is 27 let's, let's, get back, let's get back to our guest. Adrian has had to repeat this grade many, many times. Why don't you ask our guest a question? Uh, I don't know how to read this one. No. I'm good. Oh, my God. Okay. Leo. If I remember, the, I'm looking at this. The pedestrian. Wasn't that the, nope. the dystopian? Am I, right, am I right about that? Yeah, it's a dystopian short story by Ray Bradbury, yeah. Was it the guy with the, like, the helicopter, the robotic helicopter? What the? Yeah. The police helicopter? No, yeah. Yes? Okay. So there's a movie version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is yeah. not we like the story. It, yeah, the movie yeah, will, version kind of sucks. I'm not I remember. It's not that great. Yeah. Yeah, I like, it's very I, different. It gets the same idea across. It, uh, but it's very uh, different. Not really. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so. I even yeah. walking at night to a robotic helicopter. Well, it's no, no, because it's a movie. movie. Who? It's just uh, Sorensen? <laughs> um, she might be in more, more three, three five two or three five three. Yeah. That it's asking, activity period. Yeah. That are yeah. asking yeah. for. Let's give it up for that guy. They found their room. All right. Wow. wow. I love that. Yeah. That's true. So, uh, wh- why are you a teacher? <laughs> Um, because I have a passion for teaching yeah. and having people learn and grow Word. right next to me. <laughs> yeah. Shut it. Speaking of teaching, uh-huh. uh, do you recognize the sovereignty of Israel? <laughs> what? Do you? Um, that's, I mean, it's not technically up to me. It is recognized by the UN, so technically it just is. 
You're not so. the UN. There's not really. I'm not the UN, oh. unfortunately. Got the we got the wrong guy, guys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. We got the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. Man, we, this is just kind of a lackluster episode, I have to yeah, say. Yeah, this is a question. Well, yeah, yeah. we got more out of Mr. N than Bat Dad. <laughs> they just looked That's at true. us. We, we got we more a, out of Mr. N than Big P. Okay, we're having a, no, we didn't. We had a lot of... I feel like... Oh, we didn't interview last week with another... The band or the orchestra. No, last week was Bat Dad. So... Mr. You guys gotta prepare more questions. Mr. Exactly. We were supposed to, but we, we forgot. So <laughs> we asked just everyone this question. When, like, when, when did you get into anime? Oh, um, God. I was probably... It depends. I mean, I technically, just like a lot of you guys, like, I grew up watching, like, Dragon Ball Z, like, on Saturday mornings. Were you an anime kid in middle school? Depends what you mean by anime kid. Did you wear, like... like you know, you know what I'm talking no, no, about. No, no, I was not, like, an outward anime kid. No, no, no. I wasn't the kid who, like, drew, like, his Sonic OC in his notebook and, like, Naruto ran down Have you hallway. ever made a Sonic OC? I knew OC? that kid. Nobody liked him. I knew have that you, kid. Have you ever made a Sonic OC before? Never in my life. I know. I've made OCs, but not Sonic. Sonic. What OC? Give us an OC of yours. Uh, I made a Kingdom Hearts OC. No. A Kingdom Hearts no. OC. Is it, like, Goofy? Right no, no. Goofy's already. It was like Organization Goofy. Thirteen. I said, is it like, is it like Goofy? Yeah. Is it like Goofy? Yeah, I didn't say. I is it it's Goofy? It's like a is Goofy like knockoff. Goofy? It's like Goofy but blue, and he has super. Was it like Goofy? Was it like Boofy? Like Goofy? <laughs> Luffy? Luffy? One Piece now? Okay. One Piece. One Piece sucks. Okay, <gasps> I'm just gonna say One Piece sucks. <gasps> That's a hot take. One Piece That's a hot is take. garbage. Oh no, people oh. will be like, people will be like, oh, it gets good at like episode like 500 or whatever. Maybe See, it that does. I get, that I get, Maybe honestly. it does. That's fair. But like, I shouldn't have to watch that much of the show for it See, to get don't. good. Then Why don't. not just watch another show just watch that's the just good right off the bat? Just watch the synopsis and then just watch from that episode onward. Yeah, but I don't want to. Don't. Just watch like a five hundred episode. Summary. It's not the same. By like that one guy on YouTube, get, that's like fourteen hours long. You don't get. Arc. You don't get like that one. You don't second get all those like little nuances in the show. No, nah, no. Nah, like, like, I feel like attached there's to there's some episodes in that show. You could miss a couple of those nuances. You're not talking the Jango, are you? Episodes of One Piece. And Jango, understand? Why are there two conversations? Oh, that are we got a bit. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. That's what I'm saying. I hope you're not talking about that one. Yeah, we got another guest on the podcast. Yeah. Um, Mr. Ren is a very uh, busy teacher. Did, as you he's, know, a, he's quite the popular. We kept guy. Well, welcoming he's more guys. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Um, I don't have any questions. Marcelo. Yes. I know the answer to this already. Oh, but uh, would course. you would go back to Mr. N over our English teacher now? Oh yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. What about you, Owen? My I've teacher now. Never, I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> <laughs> My teacher now. I'm How? Sorry, Mr. She I'm sucks. Sorry. Wow. She sucks. We have. Do you just don't mention names. I won't we, mention we'll, we'll call her. We'll okay. call her uh, Joanne. Joanne. Sure. Don't okay. do that either. <laughs> we'll call her Don't Angela. How about that? We'll call her uh, Michael Mase. Jacquees. We'll call her so Jacquees is really like passive aggressive always to everybody. You should have her on the podcast. Ca- ca- I don't no. like her very call much. Michael, call her Michael Mase. It might be interesting to have your teacher on your podcast, maybe. Yeah. So my we, we have my teacher on the podcast. Do you? You're, you. Right now. You. Oh. Yeah. You were my teacher. Aww. Do you, did you forget that? I mean, I was your teacher. Did you try to, like, block no. out those memories? No. Oh, yeah. Why would I? Yeah, he did. I didn't, no. You said, you said period like, four. He was my period four. He was my yeah, period one. Yeah, no, you said period four. Period you said period four was oh, your least favorite. That's what you said. You don't remember? Period ten. He was in my extracurricular class. I was, I was period three. This. I was period three. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You mean when I didn't have a class? Yeah. yeah. Yo, do your work. I was here. Yeah? I showed up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What a studious thing. Yeah, I was punctual every day. That's cool, bro. Mario studious. Oh. Mario, I got a question for you, right? What's up? Ooh. So, let's say uh, science reaches out to you to select you for an experiment, right? Science? Uh-oh. Science. As a whole? What kind of experiment? And like the science. The science you're not, you're, look, listen, you're not the subject, right? Oh, you, okay. have, you are taking a survey of the uh-huh. actual subject. Interesting. And you are, depending on which question he gets right or wrong, you have to shock them. And Ooh, I would not want to end this with that. I feel bad. For each question it gets wrong, the oh. the votes increase. Oh, I've seen. I, I know the things. I know the experiment you're describing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was a um, Vsauce. Nineteen sixty-one. Like that. Yeah, was, yeah, that was actually an experiment. Owen was, knows uh, all about him. There was a person. If Mr. There, was, there was like a big screen like behind it. Yeah, and they're they're reminding me of that. There was. <laughs> Is it? Essentially, it was like testing Vsauce? what they were trying to get at. Was the idea of to see how people? So, for example, like the Nazi soldiers, how they were able to commit such atrocities, right? So what they did is they took 
like random people so they didn't experiment to see, you know, to what extent will people commit atrocities or do things that they don't believe in when prompted by like a powerful authority. So they pretty much took people and they would have like a screen with like a wall and they would have a person that they were looking at that would have to ask them questions and they would answer them. And if the person got the question wrong, they would shock them. Now, actually what was happening behind the screen, it would just be like, there's actually nobody there. It's just like in another room, there's like a guy, like in a studio, who is like producing like a response. So like when they would get the quote unquote incorrect answer, that guy in the other room would just be like, ah, he would like make cries of pain or you're killing me, please stop. Like he would respond, like how somebody would respond. Yeah. And so the whole point is that this person who's like, you know, the subject, like to what extent will they go to shock this random person that they don't know when prompted by an authority figure. Yeah. So they would crank it to like, let's say like voltage 10 is enough to leave like permanent brain damage. And some people would say, I'm sorry, like I can't continue. And the guy would be like, no, you have to. He's like, I'm sorry, I really can't. And they would leave and they'd say like, okay. But some people would be like, you have to keep going. They're like, please, I don't want to keep doing this to this guy anymore. Like, he's crying. Like, no, keep going. And some people would, like, you know, okay. amp it no, to 10. More, sure. I'll, I'll, this I'll give this guy prostate More cancer. people were willing, yeah, correct. Yeah, more, more people were willing to I think it was something like over 60% were, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. over, like, 60% of people would, in that situation, go into, like, lethal electricity. Yeah, like, do you, do you oh, think uh, you would? Like, Me personally? Realistically. Like, yeah, like everybody, sure. always, everybody always says, oh, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't, like, do it like, to begin with, let alone, like, get to, like, lethal Here's another experiment. I just wouldn't be... Yeah. Uh, Wait, have you heard of the trolley bad. problem? Oh, yeah. Uh, we were literally talking about that today. Oh, uh, yeah. What would, you, what would you do? What would you do? Really <sighs> um, so there's a lot of different angles you can take. Um, you can either send it, hit the one, send it, hit the three. Right, there are a lot some of people argue. You could, you no, no, some people will say that, like, arguably, for their own conscience, they would just, like, turn around and not make a decision. So then, like, technically, no matter what happens, it's, like, not their call. I mean... But see, my thing well, is, like, is, while you could not make the decision and you could sort of, like, if that helps you sleep at night, that you didn't decide, like, you didn't play God yeah. and, like, choose to kill one or three. Or but I technically, would, I would, kill the one would I then, day. personally, would I be more comfortable? What if the three do die? So, like, me not acting yeah. killed two more people yeah. than one. I would, I would right? kill well, the one every time. Why would the like, guy if, just, I, if I could yeah, make personally, the decision, I would rather have yeah, that same. one person yeah. die than see, the three. Why wouldn't the guy just get off the track? Like, it just makes more sense. about ethics. Yes. 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 What ethics. I would, you know what I mean? would you rather kill the three or the one if they're both tied down and like they can't move? Down. Kill the one. I, I kill all the, that just one. makes more sense. Like, like <laughs> I know, I know. Right? Some, like some, some people argue somebody. that like if you choose to kill the three, then obviously like you know you're sacrificing more of humanity. But at the same time, if you choose the one, then it almost seems like you're selecting that one yeah. person. So like, what have they done yeah. to yeah. be like like singled like, out? Like why? Yeah, like why, why, they, why that person? Right? So like, like there was this there was this website that I saw, mm-hmm. and it was like if you were in a self driving car, and yeah, then the brakes thing. broke, mm-hmm. and there were people crossing the street, mm-hmm. like which like group of people would you hit? Yeah, like, and it would, would be like, like it would be like a group of three, which is like it's like two parents and a little girl, and then there's like another group which is like two like surgeons, and like you have to figure out which one you you would rather like run into. Mm. Yeah, that was actually one of the, like, the woman basic, the like, like the programming questions they had when it came to, like, self-driving cars. Because, like, they'll usually try to, like, yeah. avoid harming people. Yeah. But you but know then what? some of them, if I remember correctly, there was, like, a big issue with, Teslas. like, the, the Teslas where if, let's say there is a situation where either there's only two options. One, you hit one or two people. Or two, like, you crash into a brick wall and you die. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like, well, you, then you, are you the, saying the, one the driver the is worth more than a pedestrian? Right, so because like, if, I mean, if the driver, if the, if the car is still intact with the driver, it can kill more people. I, I, what, I here's what I do. Trolley. Uh, with the trolley, I'd, I'd hit the one guy, then I'd, I'd throw the thing in reverse and go Damn back it, to the you other took my joke. Right, listen, That's listen, not listen, funny. Listen. I was going to say, <laughs> disconnect the rear car and then oh, drive both. Or you could so just... So then you say it wasn't a mistake. It was like, oops, I, the I'm car just... <laughs> <laughs> or you could just jump out and be like, I didn't do it. Uh, okay, I guess you so. just you, Like, you know the guys are that are in there, like, shoveling yeah. coal into the furnace? Yeah. The what happened to those guys? They, the, the they pol- still do that. Their job doesn't exist. The steam trains do that. got obsolete. Like, now that's, they yeah, run that's, that's, like, that's like a so good like, job. They, you know, like, know. Man, hard day at the office. My wife packed me a ham sandwich in my lunch pail. 
taking a break, sitting on the track. Do you know what I mean? Are you sure you want to do that though? Like, yeah. your life expectancy is super down because you're inhaling cold fumes. I would all love to work on this. You are going to get cancer. cancer. You put a dirty, you're going to get like bronchitis. I would love to work on this. You will. You put a dirt rag over your mouth. I would. I only felt it. You wear a mask like COVID, bro. Nah, but listen, like, with a train track situation, let's say that you decide to kill one person, right? Instead of two. What if that person is like your mother or father? Will you still make that decision? Oh, that's Well, I just wouldn't. I would stop. My mother and father, if I was you can't adult just man stop driving the train. a train, I can just probably leave the car. Like I'm not guilty. So it's well, like, here's the thing, they're, it's a they're, 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 they've lived, the they've, they've, the they've, they've expired. expired. They've expired. They've expired? Yo, Sorry, no. dad. But exactly. Imagine exactly. Going home doo, and doo. being like, so like <laughs> the sour milk. That's what you would do. Yeah. What is their problem? Oh my god. I feel god. bad for your parents when they get old and like you have to take care of them. I'm not gonna He's gonna put them into a nursing home like later. What? Why do I you can want to kill your parents? Nah, nah, I don't like, want. Like, okay, I don't want to. Nah. You want to kill your parents? Oh, and if they're <laughs> if, if they're eighty five and they, they've tied themselves to a train track, <laughs> I they, mean, they, they did it themselves. At okay. that point, they want to go. And who's tying people to train <laughs> okay, tracks? Okay, okay. The Wild West. <laughs> let, let me. It is. Let me use the one F bomb. But yes, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is your problem? There's no problem. There's your one. That's it. That's my. Yeah, that was my one. Now let me have my one. No, no, no. I can see Owen. Does Adrian get one? Mm. I can one But look podcast. at him, he's got so much swag. I can, he deserves I'll wear, I'll wear a striped like undershirt, overalls, a nice cap, right? <laughs> get, I, get that cold. I Man, it, it's a hot one today. This coal isn't helping my skin cancer. Hot one? I don't know. I can see Owen oh, being skin like... No, I can my see, skin cancer. My skin cancer. My skin cancer. No. I, I can, got lumbago. And I'm shoveling this coal into this this oven. I can you have, oh, like, I can absolutely see you like seeing your dad driving across the tracks in his car. You can see me just shoveling over more my coal. Father with a train. <laughs> at like eighty, just shoveling Wasn't more coal. Wasn't your father from the just train. yelling at you go, for go, no go. reason? Yeah, this, 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 is, this is going back to the, yeah. This the same you and your dad were just over. screaming at each other. You woke up everybody <laughs> on the block. <laughs> we had a why no, were no, you yelling? No, what happened? My dad thought he was in a smaller car, so he was like, leave the bike, we don't have to take it. I'm like, you're in a Subaru, you can fit the bike in the back. Subaru. And he's like, no, I can't. And then he looks outside, and he's like, oh, yes, I can fit it. And then it took oh, the bike in Oh, car. speaking of cars, Mr. N, what do you drive? Yo, I, yo, I think I know I do not have a I license. think I know what you drive. <laughs> oh, do you? I remember from last year. You want to take a guess? Do you not drive a Honda Civic, if I remember. Honda you're you're close-ish. You have a Fiat? Honda Civic? So it's, you're close, so it's okay. the model year mm-hmm. is one more. So it's a. So you do have a Honda Civic, no, Elantra. It's, it's not a Honda Civic. No, 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 no. It's not a Honda. It's a Lamborghini. No, nope. it's a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. No. Hyundai. No. Yeah. Close. Smart car. Uh, I can see you driving a Ram the pickup <laughs> truck. Ew, no. Pickups. No. BMW. No. A Jeep. BMW. White yeah. van. It's definitely not. A Ford, White Ford. van with Ford. lettering on the side. What do I? Free candy? No. Mr. Ed, if you okay, another enough. Here's another ethics question. So if you were like in front of an elementary school, for example, like I don't want to answer this question. No, 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 Like if you were like across the street from Demers and you saw some guy in a white van pull up and ask a kid for candy, what would you do? Like would you drive away or like would you would you pursue the guy or would you just do nothing? Because there isn't depends, really like, much am I that in my you car, can do. Am I walking down you're, the no, you're just walking. You're, you're walking down the street. You're, you're walking down the street and you witness this happen. You're crossing the road. You know what? As this, as this I actually want to mention this. I probably do one of two things. I probably like no, wait, walk no. over to the station just so I can like hear it more clearly. Or two, I really think something shady is going down. Just call the police. But what if I they actually, get away? And he's what, like if, what if you didn't see the license plate? Like, you could also. It's what, what if you go to like beat him up and it's just some like candy man? <laughs> beat him up? It's just a candy man. Okay, <laughs> I'm an English teacher What's a candy and I man? definitely. Do not work out rigorously or have like fighting training. About, I would get destroyed. Yeah, what's, your, what's your workout yeah. regimen, Mister? Yo, yeah, you, you just get legs. You do legs. What do you, t- what do you yo. legs? You do legs. Mr. Uh, he does legs. I, wait, I do you eat protein powder? What you he about? eats it by the bucket. I want to. I want to. Mister, 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 Here's a better question. True, bro. He's bulking. Do you cover yourself in the powder and just lie in your bed sadly? Do you do that? Yes. Hold on. I want to go. I actually Adrian saw does a that. TikTok of someone some, you. At, in front of a school. That's how you get some those kid games, was hopping bro. into a white van. Or they were opening Maybe the door. Maybe his dad's an electrician. Trying to, no, like, no, it was, no they were trying to grab the kid. His dad's a pump. And, Don't do, it was him. What the guy did, <laughs> Yo, the guy sped off in his car and, and he rammed in the back of the truck. And the guy fell out onto the street. And, <laughs> and he, he was like wearing a striped uniform. The kid ran away and everyone got arrested. Wow. So he was, Poor guy. he kind of saved He was today. selling Pence candy. <laughs> Look at you, your hair is so different. Shilling. Good for you. Um, well, shilling. You met no, Jaden like 40 minutes ago. <laughs> in Birmingham? <laughs> would you rather, okay, would you rather live Remember the bread. in... Apparently we're recording a podcast. Yes. 
Let's would, you ra- would you? Would you? Would you? Ra- they clap anytime somebody new comes in. Remember would the, you rather oh, live in Atlantic the- City or Los Angeles? I'd rather live in Birmingham. <laughs> shut up, dude. Shut up, dude. Do you remember the bread? We what went bread? To the, we went to bread? this dollar store. Oh, at the 99 cent store. And there was oh, bread in there the was cabinet. Just bread in it was the like black cabinet. cabinet. It was like yeah. Black Plague <laughs> era, like... Bread man with the with the cart coming by with like the daily it was the daily bread. bread. It was an bread, acrylic yeah. box. It was, it was an acrylic. This is the Have most, you been to Atlantic City? This is, this is the most ADHD Atlantic City, conversation I've ever heard. Atlantic City is literally just a, a GTA server in real life. Bread and flies in. That's li- for, that is like what it is. No, but when I was in Atlantic City, there was this weird dude. I remember this. Everybody in my house was asleep. Oh, not the, the Airbnb that we were in. Yeah. And I was I was in the living room on my phone, and I looked at the window, and there was some homeless dude, like, standing right there in front of the window. And he asked me if I had any money, what? and I said no, and then he walked away. And then I went upstairs, because I got freaked out, and I looked at the window upstairs, and he was, like, circling around the property. <laughs> Yo. I didn't, oh, my God. I didn't see him the next day. Nah, nah, nah. And it's weird, no, because uh, uh, this guy, he had, he had, like, these weird, like, like pink pants. And my friend went to Atlantic City, um, like a few weeks ago, and he said he saw the same dude asking him for money, which I think is really funny. He's a hustler. You know, I, I, so I started asking other friends. No, no, no. I started asking other friends if they saw like this specific homeless guy when they went to Atlantic City, and they did. Like this is like a, a dude that people know from Atlantic City. Like he's famous. No one knows his name. Here, here's my stance on this whole words rather than. I'd rather live in Atlantic City. I'd rather, like, have the off chance of a homeless man circling my house than, like, stepping outside of my house and, like, dying of lung cancer instantly from the smog. What? So in Los Angeles or uh, guess, yeah. it's Atlantic like, City? That's I mean, LA also has, like, insane traffic. Yeah. LA also has Would an you insane in amount of homeless people. Well, I can drive to Ohio. Mumbai? Mumbai. That was very I can hard. drive to Ohio. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Instead of what? Owen. Los Angeles. Wait, where's Owen? I would rather live in LA based simply on the fact that it's in the Owen, you should ask Mr. N's opinion on Wales. What's your opinion on Wales? No. Mumbai's in India. Is it? It's the capital of India. Is it really? No, no, this no, podcast is over, no. man. <laughs> this is quite on about. This guy doesn't I'll know what the space needle is. is. What is yeah. a space needle? You know what that is? No. What's what a space needle? It's, it's a very famous, like, pointy structure in, is that in Seattle, Canada. Seattle. Seattle. Seattle, right? Yeah. And Canada has the Canada CN has Tower. the Canadian. Yeah, okay, but Seattle. what? But what is it though? Like, what is its purpose? It's just a tall building. It's just a very tall structure. It's like oh, the that's, World Trade that's stupid. It's like Mr. the world. Mr. Was the World Trade Center stupid? Is the CN Tower stupid? Yes. Don't yes, talk about the World Trade Center. Like, don't ask why not? Don't, don't call the World Trade Center stupid. Word. I didn't use it. <laughs> Why do you think the you know World Trade the World? Center is so funny? It's real. If the World Trade Center... I didn't Center, say it was funny. You laughed. If the World Trade really Center was so good you on September so 11, 2001... <laughs> Shut up! Shh. Whoa, Marcelo. He was about to say something bad. I was not saying anything. Real. He said September 11th. It's still... Okay, tranquilo. It still That's exists. my birthday. That's not your birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not right. your birthday. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's not okay either. What it still you? exists. No, I know it's your baby though. <sighs> do you think? Do you think <laughs> Wales uh, should become independent from the UK? Wales? Yeah. Interesting. What? I mean, do they want to? Be? <laughs> I thought they already were. <laughs> I've, I've, I'll define. Well, so you have the United Kingdom, which is made up of like the... separate countries yeah. inside of it. It's Wales, Scotland, England, and Northern yeah. Ireland. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, technically, they kind of are already. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're independent my, my of bio- English teachers from Wales. Yeah, but not so, of, like, United Kingdom. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, so, I mean, if they wanted to, like, yeah. Like so, we drifted away from this topic <laughs> real fast, because these two were Who cares about the space wrong. needle? Let's I, move on. Yeah, yeah talk he's about Canadian. Space Don't listen to him. Stupid. I was going to say, Yo, what, what about, does he drop? What about me? We asked him to Yeah, and you And you were lollygagging. Can you pass me that marker? And you were lollygagging. Don't ever so, <laughs> so Phil, we have to wrap up soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we, we don't. Do. Yeah, we do. Why? We have places to be. Oh, where? Bowling, full orchestra. Mm-hmm. I'm okay, a varsity well, bowler, right. by the way. If th- those of you listening. What a Chad. What's your highest score? What a Chad. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's not have you ever bowled 300? Have you, you probably have, I'm assuming. No, have you? I have not. Oh, I, I never have. I think my high school was like. Then what are you trying to brag to me? I'm just asking you a question. Hello? Goodness gracious. So Why are you so hostile today? I drive a hoop. Yeah, I drive a 2000 Toyota Solana. I've just been sitting here. With body oh. damage. 
My highest score like it adds to it. It adds. No, to it isn't. It. Please tell us what your highest score is. Fifteen. He said two thousand Toyota Solara with <laughs> body damage. At the bowling, no, at the bowling like, your high score was like forty, bro. You did the worst. That during the summer you sucked at bowling. Oh my during God. the summer, it's the winter now. It doesn't mean anything. Is there a difference? You don't know. Maybe he's seasonal been bowling. He's been, he's been <laughs> at the winter bowling alley. Course. He's grinding. You don't know. Yeah. It's, 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 since, since it's an embarrassment. Dude, in the what if they had that, that at the Olympics? Outdoor bowling. They have ping pong they were, they, the it, it was in the Olympics. Yeah. In like ping bowling was in the Olympics. Oh. In like the 1950s. <laughs> yes. And then they took it out because they were like, this is stupid. It's not a sport. But ping pong is still in the Olympics. That's a sport. You ever see those, how fast those guys move? No, I've seen how fast they move. It's still ridiculous. That's Bob's awesome. Bob's Bob's sledding sledding is so I would cool. love to go bobsledding. I would love. We should make a team. <laughs> we should make a bobsled team for the high school. We need a fourth player though. A bobsledding like guy. Like that one Jamaican movie. Yeah, we're gonna be like the underdogs. What's, what's your highest speed? Wait, what's that movie called? Cool running. Cool running. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, my oh, mom used to be so obsessed with that movie. I'm obsessed. Anyway, with we'll end it with uh, we're gonna start a bobsled team. So keep uh, keep a lookout for. We are not starting a bobsled team. We gotta buy one. None of us are Jamaican. That's racist. It's not only a Jamaican thing. Should we just <laughs> buy a bobsled and you, do you nothing with this? Yeah, we racist? should buy a bobsled. Are you go calling to, me a racist? Go, go out into Clark's Pond with the bobsled. Yes. We should just I'm not buy a bobsled. How much is a bobsled? Let's racist see that. It's probably like $12,000. Like, it's probably like a car price. Yo, we gotta like, call ourselves like like the four Dominicans. Oh, you want, he's, we got our fourth guy. We got our fourth guy. <laughs> you don't even know his name. Zachary. That's not his name. <laughs> Pickle. <laughs> his name is Quantavius. Quantavius. Oh. I'm sorry. And you try to say what? What do we call ourselves? How is that racist if he's Quantavious? Yeah, how is that racist? That's his name. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh my god! You're gonna be off the podcast. Yo, you come up with my name. We're kicking you off the podcast. We're replacing you with Quantavious. Pickle word. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Anyway, that seems to be it. Thank you, Mr. Ren, for coming onto the podcast with us. Thank you. This episode was garbage. Podcast. All the bell. Don't come back.